All right, here we go. We're going to walk over to the other side of the expansive Studio 9 here and hang out with Sam Mitchell and Jack Armstrong. They're freezing because we keep the studio extremely <laughs> cold. Hey, guys, great to see no, you. To What's up, Polar Bear? I thought it had to do with the eclipse. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I heard you guys at halftime on our broadcast. You know, it's a six-point lead at halftime for UConn, and I'm thinking maybe Purdue's got a chance, but the point you guys both made was... Purdue's got to keep it close to start the second half or they don't have a chance, and they just didn't. Yeah, they I weren't mean, able to do UConn it. UConn hit first, Yeah, and I tell you what, we talked about it at halftime of the game, Sam, and you look at what uh, Connecticut did with their perimeter defense. They held Purdue to seven three-point attempts. Yep. They said, Zach Eady, we'll let you get the ball in there. Yeah. We'll send a double here and there from different places sometimes, but we're going to scramble, close out, we are not letting you get threes because that's how Purdue beat you. Post-up opportunities, ZD dom ED dominating, and making 40% plus of their threes. The, the Connecticut's perimeter defense was, was awesome. In college, I don't care how good your bigs are, college basketball games are decided by the guards. Right. And if you look at UConn guards, their size, first of all, they're 6'5", 6'6", 6'4". Look at Purdue small guards. Defensively, they just overwhelmed yep, uh, yep. Purdue. They engulfed them. They could, Purdue couldn't even get a shot off if they wanted to. And when they did, they were so frustrated, they were shooting air balls. And then, to Jack's point, this game was one recruiting. <laughs> UConn, <point>. look, if, <laughs> if Purdue had one more good player, yep. this might have been a different outcome. But because that guy right there, Hurley, has done such an unbelievable job of balancing out his team, if you think about it, you couldn't pick an MVP tonight of this game right, from right. UConn yep. because all of these guys who stepped on the floor played their role and did their job. So, Eden was the best player in all the tournament, but what we found out again, and I love this, teams win championships, not individual players, and UConn the best team. And yep. you can name it, Newton, Castle, Spencer, clinging all those guys for Connecticut. But the thing that jumps out, uh, Jay, when you watch UConn these last few years, they – are so well coached. They have high-end level players. Yep. And those guys are committed to the name on the front of the shirt, yep. yet they're high-end players. And they play the game hard and the right way on both sides of the ball. I made this point to Sam earlier. It's like watching Jay Wright's Villanova teams mm -hmm. all over again. I mean, and that's hard today with the transfer portal and name image like this and all the money that's flying around. To get guys to buy into the greater good, they are a super impressive team. Uh, can I quickly ask you, Sam, about your thoughts on Zach Eady? And you've been championing him as a, as someone who should maybe go higher than they're projecting him to go. Do you still feel that way after this yeah, tournament? Yeah, because people don't understand, in college basketball, it's hard for bigs to score. You get 37 and 40 in a college game playing center. First of all, guards don't throw the ball in the post. <laughs> Second, big guys don't have the space in college that they do in the, head, in the NBA because of the three-point line and the shooters in the NBA you put around him. But this kid, to do what he did last year and to come back this year, and he has improved 100%. Yeah. When you watch his footwork, you watch his stamina, you watch him move, he is a better athlete than what people give him credit for. And think about this. He's only going to get better once he gets to the NBA. He don't need to be the joker of Joel Embiid. Yeah. If he goes to the right team and gets you 15 and 10, shoot a high percentage, and block three or four shots a game, he could anchor an NBA <laughs> championship team. And remember, team. we're going to have expansion in a few years. So there's right. going to be 30 more jobs. So when people say, can he play in the NBA? Of course. There's yeah. going to be 30 more. There's not a lot of seven-foot-four guys walking around the planet. That can yeah. play. And yeah. who that can, can play. score. And he's only played eight years. He played hockey, played baseball. His best days are ahead of him. Send him down to Houston, hang out with Hakeem for two weeks, right? Yep. It, right? Send him to OKC and there put him he... with Chet Holmgren. Now, can you imagine a starting lineup of 7'4 and 7'3 oh and God. skilled? Be scary. And then Shea, uh, the back end, that'd be yeah, pretty good. My good. MVP this year, <laughs> Shea Gildress Alexander, baby. I love it. It's looking good for Canada basketball. There's no doubt. Before we let you go, we got to talk about your ordeal getting to work tonight. <laughs> you're, dry, you're coming from Niagara. Uh, everyone's in Niagara watching the eclipse. Uh, was this the worst traffic you'd ever, ever seen in your ever. life? We got to hire a helicopter here at TSN, <laughs> uh -oh. okay? All right, we got to get a helicopter deal. 
Sponsored by Harvey's. Maybe they'll sponsor the helicopter. A helicopter. Well, it took we just, me we, four and a half hours. Can we get some hot coffee? Like, it took me four and a half hours four and to and get here from Niagara. From, from it usually Western takes an hour and 45 minutes. And this is the these are the scenes at Niagara yeah. today. But yeah, it was uh, it was a frustrating situation. But you were so smooth when you started the broadcast. You just came in and yeah. you handled it so I'm well. Train, I'm a trained television yes, professional. <laughs> yeah, I got two of them right here. Two trained television professionals right here. Guys, thanks for this.